Hi, everybody. This is Don Gulling, President and CEO of Vertex Consulting. I wanted to do a quick video demonstration on how to configure uh, Mitel Connect escalation profiles and how you can use those profiles to alert users when you have vital and important voicemail messages. So what are escalation profiles? What can they do and why would you use it? Uh, first of all, what is it? An escalation profile is a set of features that allows you to alert either one or multiple people when a new voicemail is left in anybody's mailbox. Could be an individual mailbox, could be a shared work group mailbox, uh, could be an auto attendant mailbox, if you're familiar with that concept. So any of those can have an escalation profile attached. What can it do? An escalation profile can do a lot of things. It can send an email to let you know that there's a voicemail. It can send an email with a WAV file attachment. It can also make a live phone call to any number you put in there. And it can be configured with multiple steps uh, each step with its own options and with time delays. I'm going to show you all those things. So why would you use it? Uh, some companies use escalation profiles for an on-call mailbox so that when a customer leaves a message, that message is emailed to the on-call employee or the team and the system calls them to let them know until somebody responds. You might be familiar with this uh, concept because we use this for our own hard down rotation. So if you ever call after hours for emergency MyTel support, uh, you'll see an escalation profile in action. I've also seen people use it for a call-out mailbox. If you've got a larger organization, maybe you establish an uh, extension for employees to be able to call in to let the team know they're out sick. This would then notify key management or HR. That way they don't have to text and email and all those things. They could just leave a voicemail. We've also seen it used for business continuity escalation. What I mean there is that you put managers, leaders, and key personnel into an escalation profile and in the event of a significant business disruption or issue, uh, designated team members leave a voicemail in that mailbox and it notifies everybody on the list. So a great way to improve crisis communications. So those are just some of the ways that you might use it. I'm going to show you all these during the actual uh, demo part here in just a second, but I want to quickly touch on some of the options. You can escalate for each new message. You can escalate for unheard messages, only the first one perhaps. Um, you can also name profiles, you can repeat these profiles, and you can have sub-steps for each of those. Uh, there's a timeout setting so that you can have delays between steps. We use that timeout setting ourselves in our hard down message. The idea is we call the first person on the rotation. If they don't answer, we give them a few minutes, we call them again. Then if that don't answer the second time, we wait a few minutes, we call the second person. So there's a delay, we use that one. Also, uh, delivering messages is an email. You can send them just the, hey, you got a voicemail, or you can send them the WAV file as well. And of course, we can make those phone calls that I mentioned before. That's the way we use it. So let's dive right into it and show you how it works in the real world. Uh, you can see on the screen, I have pulled up my Mitel Connect director interface. And we'll walk you through going here. It's very easy to do. A couple of ways to access it. One, you can go to the wrench, go to users, and go to escalation profiles right here. If you don't remember that, just remember you can always go to the search tool and type in escalation profiles. It takes you to the exact same place. So I click that. You'll see this pulls up all the escalation profiles that we have defined in our system. We have quite a few, right? Another way you can do it is look at it for a user specific. So I go to users and let's go to mine, Don Gulling. I'm going to check Brian and go to uh, uh, Don Gulling. Right here in my user screen, you'll see I have a view escalation profile. So I'm going to click that. It takes you to my escalation profile right here. I'm going to maximize this screen and walk you through some settings we have. First off, uh, there's a name for the profile. I just called it Don's profile. You could be more creative if you like. And then the escalation profile notification options. Either escalate for every single message or only for the first unheard message. The idea here being maybe you only want to alert when the first message is left and then you assume the user got it from there. Uh, we like to do it for every message. That way we know every time a message is left, uh, the profile kicks in. Uh, repeat count. This is how many times you're going to repeat this profile. 
So as you can see, you've got several steps here across the top we'll walk through. Maybe you only want to do three steps and repeat, and you want to repeat in three times. So uh, a lot of capabilities there. Right into step number one. So step number one has a timeout. How long should I wait before I take this step? In this case, zero minutes. What am I going to do? I'm going to notify by email, and I'm going to deliver it as a WAV file to this email address. If you're going to use email to send the WAV file, we always recommend you do that as the first step. The reason I say that is because just the delays in sending emails across the internet, delays in sending a WAV file with media in it may take a couple extra seconds. So we say do that first and then make the call. Um, in our experience, that works the best. There is a checkbox here for urgent only. What that means is when a person leaves you a voicemail in the MyTel system, they have an option at the end, if they hit the pound key, to mark their message as urgent or to mark the message as private. If they mark the message as urgent, it will escalate. I would only recommend using this urgent only checkbox if you're using it for an internal process where your team members know to notify you, use the urgent message box. Uh, outside parties probably aren't gonna know to mark it urgent. So I would only use that if it's an internal process. So that's my step number one. It's gonna send me a WAV file to that email address. Step number two, it's gonna call me. I've got it set here to call me on my phone, 352-555-1212, right? That's step number two. And no delay, no timeout. So it's gonna send me the WAV file and it's gonna call me immediately. Let's go to step number three. Here I've got it set for a 30 minute delay and then to call me again. The idea here is if I haven't answered it, if I haven't replied to it or marked it as read, in a half an hour, the MyTel system is going to call me again to let me know I have that message. So it's going to be very tenacious in trying to reach me and let me know I've got voicemail. <clears throat> the rest of the steps I've got disabled. There's nothing in here. They're all blank, so it won't carry those out. So I've got a three-step escalation process. Step one, uh, send me the email as a WAV file. Step two, call me. Step three, after waiting 30 minutes, call me again. I click on save, and now I have an escalation profile attached to my voicemail. Every time a voicemail gets left in my mailbox, it's going to carry that step out. Let me walk you through um, some other options. I'm going to scroll through this and go to our hard down mailbox and show you a little more robust profile. So this is the one that we use ourselves. And you see at the top, we've named them week one, week two, week three, week four, and custom. So what we've done is we've created a predefined four-week rotation with staff members on there. And for each week, we have all the people listed and their phone numbers listed and how long it waits before it calls them and so on. So you can preload this and have it ready to go and kick it in. We can also flip it over to a custom schedule if we need to do a custom one and send it to whoever we like. So that, in a nutshell, is Escalation Profiles. I hope you've learned from it. I hope you can uh, learn to implement it in your business. If you'd like help in setting up an escalation profile for your business and you want to uh, get some assistance from Vertex Consulting, you can always call us. You can reach us on our toll-free number, 877-VERTEX. You can also visit us on our website there on the screen, www.vertex.com. Or you can email us at help at vertex.com. We'll be glad to assist you and help you implement escalation profiles in your business. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.